Hello, and we're at Epcot today. guys so this is a first time unfinished video and if you make it all the way to the end don't know why <laughs> all right so today we are all about flower and garden getting our figment pass and VIP month for pass holders so we have a our own spot to kind of hang out in the season so I'm excited to see what kind of VIP access we have <laughs> and uh, enjoy this day. So we're gonna go into creations first. That's where our magnets are gonna be. We're heading over there. In creations, we got our pigment magnet. I love it. So cool. And now we're in creation, so we're gonna look around. What do you see? So the hundred years of wonder is still here. Let's go see if any new ears have come out. Oh, the Element movie came out with their ears. How cute. I don't like buying ears for movies I haven't seen yet, so we have to wait on that one, but I do want to see this one. I've never seen this many here. I wonder if that's new. A drawing. So Spider-Man is coming out, the cartoon, in the multiverse, something like that. So there are some new Spider-Man. Pride has made it to Epcot. So it's all here. Marvel. Star Wars. A lot of new stuff in the creations but basically all the stuff we've already seen before so it was a quick walk through now let's see if we can get some food what's that a day what is it called it's like a a, a dgi a dgi, DGI. <laughs> uh where do i pick up the shakes they had a maple popcorn shake and you guys know, I think the maple popcorn here is superior to all other popcorn. So I was very excited to see it. And then I got the tenderloin, the beef tenderloin. With mushrooms, borderlay sauce, and a whipped potato with garden vegetables. And then the, they do serve this with alcohol. You can get it with whiskey or without. I got it without. Mmm. It's, there's definitely like a caramel in it. I'm not sensing maple though, you wanna try? I got the maple flavor. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe because I went like that. Oh. But I did get the maple. I feel like I got caramel. I got both. Yeah? Caramel and the tastes really good yeah and the popcorn kind of tastes more like caramel than the maple that we're used to getting at canada and this is at the canadian booth for flower and garden it's really good yeah right it's not bad it's also not sickly sweet you know how like sometimes you feel like it's just like too heavy to finish yeah on a hot day that's good june is here guys this might be the one of the few times you see me here during the day because I don't do heat well I know and I moved to the hottest place but let's try this tenderloin add a little carrot mashed potatoes is good Mmm, it's good. Mmm. You want 
and get closer to the bird. This is really good, right? Really good, not overly seasoned, not overly salty. Bernays is like a, a high concentrated like beef sauce. Not overdone, the mashed potatoes are really good. And the beef is good. Well seasoned. Try that carrot, ma. You like cooked carrots? It's really good. It brings a sweetness to the whole thing. I wish there was more, but. Tastes good. Because when you're eating the meat on its own, you gotta leave the birdies alone. They're just, they're going, they're just walking. Um, look, Emmett, over here, look. Whoa! Say hi, birdie. Uh, when you eat the beef just by itself and the sauce is a little salty, but once you blend it in with everything else, it's pretty good. say Canada. <laughs> Canada. Those fairies, they go out to the resort? Um, I think one of them does. Actually, no, not the, these fairies. <laughs> Right? <laughs> this is a dick thing. Oh my god. Wow, it's so much better with the popcorn in it. It's funny. I didn't I thought it was gonna be like stale or soggy. You know what it reminds me? Sugar smack. Sugar smack. The cereal? Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. The same flavor. Wow, that brought it back. Oh yeah. It is the exact flavor. Yep. They used to give that a lot at school. All right, so what do we think about Canada? I was at 10. I agree. <laughs> it's a 10. We only did try two items, but out of the two items, we'll say that it's already worth going to the Canada booth and enjoying something from that booth because it's really good so far. It's really cool in between Canada and the UK. They had all the characters out here just taking photos casual line making going through quick so we didn't get to do goofy now we're in line for chip and nail the rest of the characters had to leave but donald was here and stitch is back there mickey's here uh so that's pretty cool that they did that uh, and if you can spot them they'll be here and i think that building they should do character greetings that building is huge inside they used it during covid for the food festivals um they can easily make that a uh, character meet and greet location. And Mary Poppins is hanging out over there between Canada and the UK. The entrance of UK, really. So that's cool. Seeing more characters out. Alright guys, so the video ended here because we were making our way to the land pavilion. Um, and it was already 2 o'clock and it was the hottest point of the day. So this trip was supposed to be like a quick in and out, not be there too long because I knew it was going to be really hot that day. And it was only like 86, but felt like like 92. So it's not even the worst it could be, but it was bad. And right after this, I started feeling really sick. I felt like I was going to pass out. So we had to go into one of the sores for me to like cool down, I had to sit down. I felt like I was like about to have a panic attack. Like it was bad. We had some water like, and I finished like two water bottles. And at that point when water doesn't feel like pro tip, like if it doesn't feel like it's doing anything, it's because you probably need electrolytes. So they do sell Powerade. Um, so we made it to the land pavilion 
and I had to go in first because I just couldn't. You have to park the stroller. Um, Emmett is having a hard time at this point going anywhere without his stroller because he's afraid that it might be a ride that he's so scared of. So we're kind of working on that as well. Um, but I was like about to faint and my mom had to help like bring him inside. He tantrum the whole way through i did get something to eat and the powerade um we weren't even able to eat it because he had a full tantrum he didn't want to be in there um so we thought um turn to find out like he just wanted to ride the escalator we didn't realize again my son has um he, he he's not fully nonverbal, but he's not able to communicate his needs fully sometimes especially when new things like he doesn't know what the word escalator um so we're teaching as much as possible as we go so that he can tell us uh his needs um but it just got it was just like really bad <laughs> and not only was the heat getting to him the heat got to me and we just had to leave and so we went out he cried the whole way back so if you ever see those families <coughs> with babies crying in the stroller it's just it's very overwhelming the heat is very overwhelming the the place can be very sensory overload so just be cautious i i don't like saying don't come in june and july or even august but if you can avoid it avoid it so when i used to come in vacation here i used to avoid june july and august um even september sometimes so i d did want to show you and talk to you about you know my experience because this could be your experience um <laughs> you know i i live here now and i almost the heat almost took me out um so it's just if you're not ready if you're not prepared i was just doing like a quick two three hour thing but it was the hottest point of the day so it just got me I didn't bring my umbrella, I didn't bring a fan, I didn't bring my cooling. Like I have all these things to help me through. I just didn't think I was gonna need it. Um, but, you know, I have to remind myself, if it's going to rain that day, the hours before it actually rains, it's hot, like hotter. <laughs> like if you think it's gonna be 90, it's like 100 because it's like, it gets so hot right before it rains and then it rains. And it cools down immediately so um sometimes you know you might actually prefer it to just rain <laughs> like go indoors let it do its thing let it cool it down because it's bad really really bad <laughs> so i just wanted to show you guys this video show you that i i go there a lot and it still took me out the heat took emmett out it just luckily my mom was still going strong <laughs> so we didn't have you know all three of us go down in once but i did want to let you guys know like be fair warned if you're gonna go in the summertime be, be prepared have your kids be prepared bring fans tons of water get ready to buy some powerade or bring your own powerade um i've done that in the past as well um bring an umbrella so that you have shade with you no matter where you are um because i think that was the big part we made it all the way up to uh, france and then walking back there's no shade so i had to walk back in the heat and it just it really made me sick so <laughs> and i go here a lot so it's uh, it's always a learning curve when and it was june 2nd I didn't think the heat was only going to be 85, but it felt way harder than 85. So just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, I hope you did like the video. So from what we recorded, I'm hoping to be able to go back and see the pass holder uh, area, the little lounge that they had there. They had some freebies um, there as well and a nice cute little photo op. So I'm hoping I'll be able to make it before they take it out. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was a good time. <laughs> we did get to try some new food. We saw uh, some of the merch. We got our figment pa uh, magnets for the cars. So, it, you know, it was a good time until it wasn't. So, that being said, I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. And thank you for being a part of my world.